Let me just say this to you all. I don't, I don't want to tell you all how absolutely obsessed I am with these earrings. Okay, you see? You see? I, like, I don't want to stop 2024 because the earrings are earringing, y'all. Okay? Hey everybody, what's going on? This is your girl Catrice and welcome to, well, welcome back to Behind the Scenes of Cocktail Hour with Catrice, okay? This is when I give you all the behind the scenes stuff that I'm thinking about, worrying about, concerned about, okay? And as I prep for my show. Now, yesterday I still, I'm a little congested still, okay? Um, but I'm not like fully congested. I'm not like 100% like I was yesterday. I did spend the entire day in the house, and I worked on my blog, right? I worked on some content for you all, of course, and I started doing some research on that story that I was telling you all about yesterday, and, um, yeah, then the time got away from me, okay? And then I decided, I said, okay, you know, I, I got a little rest, probably between, like, it's like six, time, what time did I lay down? Like, a little bit before seven, until one of my favorite YouTubers came on the line, and the manosphere, and I like to watch him. So I had to stop and I had to watch Duke. And then, um, then I was up. Then I was up. So I decided to go back and start working on my stuff. And I found this website that I really enjoy working, that I thought I was going to enjoy. Let me just say that. Because the people done just messed me up and lied to me. Or well, maybe I was just believing it in it, thinking it was going to go for one of my websites. And it did not. Because I woke up this morning to a very disappointing email from them. So here's the thing, y'all. You all get to see us like when we pop online. I know for me, I'm going to speak for me. I can't speak for anybody else in the content creation world. I have a lot going on in my day-to-day -day life. I have <sighs> work and all this other stuff, right? Personal life. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, your girl's trying to date. So I, I, I don't necessarily have all this time in the world to be in on all the money in the world to be putting into the stuff for YouTube, but I really try my best to push out the content that I know is going to benefit my subscribers. Well, child, I I was up until what time? I think I worked. I was working until like one thirty this morning, right? And then I took my medicine because I'm still sick, and then I went back to sleep. Woke up this morning to an email saying, "I'm sorry, but your request has been denied, and you cannot come back from it." I'm like, what? You know, it's just like, listen, hold on, what, Jesus, okay. So, the, the high, you all get to see the highs, right? You see me come online, hey, everybody, thank you for, you know, what I said, hold on, how do I do it? I, I say, um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you all, happy, whatever day it is, right? You see, like, the end result of that, and me coming live saying, blah, blah, out, right? But, like, behind the scenes, we're like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what's my next move? Am I going to update this? Am I going to create that? Like, I'm really always trying to find some things that's going to benefit the channel and benefit you all, right? Alongside the fact that I also have to research the stories that we talk about, which I did research that thing yesterday. And let me tell you all something. Um, the story that I don't even know if I'm going to cover the story because... The last filing was in, like, I think it was, like, April or May of 2022. Like, it's not recent. Do I really want to even, like, do I even want to put myself out there and cover something that's actually, like, not current? Like, I need something that's current. You know what I mean? Like, give me some information about a pastor or bishop or whatever. You know, I'm not, I'm not seeking it. The people send it to me. But when they send me stuff, I'm just like, okay, is this, like, up to date? Where's the proof? Where's the evidence? Where's the, where the receipts? Um, because... I know a lot of people will tell you all who are in content creation, we get a lot of messages, right? Like, I get a ton. When the whole Bishop Jakes thing, like, really, like, started to skyrocket. <clears throat> I woke up my phone. I woke oh, shoot. I woke up to, like, a, a dozen messages. I'm not joking. Like, 12 messages. Like, one person even messaged me. It was like, um... <laughs> I was like, where did they get this stuff from? Like, who are y'all talking to? No shade if this is you, but I was just like, what? Uh, they were like, did the bishop's house blow up? And I was like, 
what is the rumor mill talking about y'all like y'all just doing all kinds of stuff i don't know i didn't get no notification that, <laughs> that the, like this situation happened where do y'all pull this stuff out at Woo! my god today so anyway that's that on that note um so yeah i don't know if i'm going to cover it because honestly it's not really current although it is look it is worth looking into and keeping an ear and eye out for because this person is connected to jake's in some way shape or form so anyway that's it so then i woke up to uh apparently kelly price was in the news chat talking about uh you should have known better that wasn't her that was monica jesus okay kelly price let me see what are people saying kelly price is oh hold up hold on y'all Okay, so apparently Kelly Price was, she made a comment. It says, Kelly Price said that she was the only artist judge on BET Sunday Best that wasn't cheating on their spouse, fornicating, or messing with underage people uh, after an online user called for her to be delivered. Then she said, uh, her comment says, yes, Lord, deliver us from Pastor H-O-E-S and Geppetto's. Uh, deliver us from the self-righteous congregants who send their money to liars, pimps, in plain sight. Then come deliver me. The nerve you have. I was on, I was the only artist judge on the Sunday Best TV show on BET that wasn't um, effing someone else's spouse, fornicating or messing with underage children. But you have smoke for me. I, F out of here. You ignorant church going brain dead. I think she meant to say a hole. I am a child of a preacher third plus generations, and I have no desire to be named among God, the gospel community. Wonder why <clears throat> you don't? Because you already know what it is, and you are content in being a part of the cover up, and it has been happening for generations. My advice: get off my page now. Prepare to have me tell you a new one every time you are here. Listen, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at her for saying that and clap it back um, and say and stating her piece. But of course, people are now going to go back in to see like who was on Sunday's Best when she was there, who was married, who um, who might have been with underage folk. Uh, and here's the thing, right? I really want to have a conversation about this with you all. I talk about this a lot on my main channel. The pastors and the leaders cannot do what they do without enablers, handlers, people that um, yes them. You know, they have to have people that are going to be there in their yes, amen, in their amen corner that allow them to get away with stuff. And I said it a couple of weeks ago, like the church has a bad name. You don't hear about any other religion, right? Uh, and somebody in my comment section was talking about Gandhi. I said, you talk about somebody that was back like over 44 decades ago. We're talking about current priests, pastors, bishops, apostles, reverends, right reverends, uh, chief apostles, uh, overseers, whatever name that they choose to use in the pulpit to make themselves bishops, to make them feel better about themselves. Honey, like we're, we're concerned about these people. In our community, not just, um, and shout out to, I think it was, was it Uncle Kyrie that said it to me? I'm going to play, I think I'm going to try to find that clip and play it and insert it here. Where uh, the gentleman was talking about how in certain places and families and even in church, how, you know, parents will have their kids like turn their uh, alert or their, their senses off. So they're not like on high alert around family, but they're high on high, high alert around strangers and in the public when parents aren't around but then if their uncle at thanksgiving is there and the uncle might be that weird strange handsy nasty uncle that you're supposed to like give that uncle a hug and that listen that goes on and listen i would say out of a hundred percent across all denominations across uh uh even to to branch out to catholicism and all of that like how many times have you all seen children be noticeably uncomfortable in church in the back with a hoodie on with their hands folded up like I don't want to be here I'm not trying to be a part of this like, they don't want to be a part of the fold or even at a family event at a cookout 
Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas, kids are like so removed because they don't want to be around that strange, weird uncle or that aunt that talks too much, that makes them feel uncomfortable or teases them, which was my case. You know, <clears throat> they don't want to be around the people that do them a disservice. They're not even trying to be respectful of your child, but yet you're like, go give them a hug. Go entertain them. You have to be polite. It's not polite to walk into a room and not uh, acknowledge the elders, but yet the elders are the ones that sometimes are abusing the children. You get what I'm saying? It's very interesting to me how, um, how that happens, but we see it all the time in churches. Like that one situation we just covered, it was a, a pastor, a reverend rather, rather from Texas, <clears throat> and he was uh, uh, touching inappropriately and graping his family member for like eight years. The young lady even popped up pregnant. And the parents are just like, the father was like, well, we're going to look into it. I'm sorry, what? Charles, it's a mess. I, I, I can't. I can't. So, I'm interested in seeing who was on, because I, I, I'm not a big, first of all, I'm not a big BET watcher. Number two, I don't like award shows. I don't like competition, contestant shows, nothing like that. So, I don't, I mean, I remember Donnie McClurkin being on there, Cam Morrell being on there. I don't remember who else was on the line. Oh, and Kurt Franklin, of course, and Yolanda Adams. That's all I know. And I know Donnie was on there because, anyway, I'm not going to do it. But anyway, so I woke up a little uh, frustrated this morning because of the website situation. Y'all pray my strength. Because, I mean, I, listen, there are times when I want to just quit. Okay? There are times when I want to just say, you know what, I'm going to throw in the towel. Done with it. I don't want I don't want to deal. Okay? I, you hop online, you see people go back and forth. I don't want to deal. You, you walk on, you get online and you see the bishops are pretending like nothing's going on when you over here messing with kids. Like, I don't want to deal. This sounds what I just don't want to deal. But I know it's important to get the word out. I know that the Cocktails crew members, the Wise Council, you know, a lot of people are really um, locked in, especially to what we've been talking about covering uh, Dallas in particular. But that's not what this channel is about. It's about all... Um, pastors and leaders and of course my website has been updated to reflect um, some self-care tips for the women over 40 okay the girl is over 40 all right we have some self-care tips I know personally I took my own advice yesterday I decompressed I you know because I was sick God has a way of just sitting me down and saying girl ma'am ma'am yeah you yeah. Um, you need to just chill out yeah if you don't sit down, I'm going to sit you down. And that's what happens every single time. Like, I will keep going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. And then one day, God's like, oh, you still ain't, you still ain't chill out, did you? Okay. All right. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make you chill out in five, four, three, two. Okay. And then you down for two days. Talk about shoulda, coulda, woulda. That's, that's my testimony. I don't know about if it's yours. But that is my testimony that that's what God does to me. So anyway, yeah, I woke up a little disappointed this morning. Um, definitely wanted to get some better news about that. But prayerfully, I'm going to reach out to some people behind the scenes and see if they can help me. And if not, you know what? I think I'm going to run on and see what the end is going to be. I'm not going to stress. Listen, child, I'm not in the season. I, I can tell I'm getting older because I'm not in the season where I even care anymore. I'm just like, you know what? Because listen, if he did it one time, he'll do it again. Huh? When I was when I was down and out, and I was trying to figure out how I was going to write my book, who was going to publish it, I reached out to all these different publishers, and then I logged on to Periscope one time, and I learned how to do it for free. I'm not lying. I'm, I'm not joking. I learned how to do to write my book for the free, online by myself. I just I just had to format it properly. And then, boom. Now you can buy it. And, and, you know, it's on the website, by the way. But I learned how to do it all. Now, I want to change the cover. The cover's what I don't really care for anymore. That, I was young. 
that was 2016, y'all. That was almost, what, seven, eight years ago? Jesus. Okay. All right, y'all. Yeah, so um, I don't know if I'm going to cover this, Bishop. I'm going to still look into it, although I did do my research yesterday. And um, there was a countersuit, but it was months ago. Now, if this bishop, I'm not trying to be messy. I'm not. I promise y'all I'm not. But if this bishop continues to do the cover up for, for you know who, oh, you don't think this is going to, listen, this is going to be monumental. Because all the, I don't know if y'all are noticing, but the pieces are coming together. The pieces to the puzzle that were like, you know, when you dump the, the puzzle out. This is back in the day, people. This is not modern day. The kids don't do puzzles anymore. I'm talking about that 2,000 piece puzzle, 2,500 pieces, and you dump it out, and then like all the pieces are scattered, and you have to figure out where what goes where. You gotta, I mean, you gotta put them together. Honey, the pieces to the puzzle are coming. They're like this. Got them like this, and this, and this, and here, here, here. Okay, now this is over here. He's putting it all together for the people. He's putting it together. And listen, the men of God, the undercover ones, that is. The one in the industry that are undercover. Because a hit dog will holler, okay? If you if you have nothing to hide about what you do, you would not be so invested in what Bishop Jakes is doing with his time. Uh-huh. Yeah, we, 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 I see you. We see each other. I, I, listen, I know your team. Shoot. Some people are like, Ugh. I ain't gonna go there, though. But anyway, my sister texted me now. Um, yeah, y'all. So if if it comes out, if the Lord p pulls it together, if he pieces it all, I'm gonna say, listen, it's out of my it's it's above me now. I got to talk about it. But if it's not, I'm not talking about it. But God gonna put the pieces together, y'all. I, I just know it. Because why else would he have this person coming out talking over here? I'm talking about uh, uh, former clergy people, uh, alleged accusers and victims, uh, bloggers and vloggers from like, you know, like people are coming out and they're saying they don't even realize. See, I don't, maybe because I'm just, I'm nosy, right? So I can see when things are being put together. Like they're being, like, I'm like, okay, this is actively being put together. Like this is a thing now. Okay. And I just sit on the sideline like, y'all don't see that? Yeah. You don't see you don't see what's getting you don't see what's happening. Is it just me? <laughs> Did I feel crazy until I get online and someone's like, nope, I saw that too. Or the wise counsel. That's what I'm talking about the people in the back. The wise counsel. I'm talking about my day one people. I have one one woman. She is always on point. Shout out to her. Okay. Her YouTube channel is blowing up too. Shout out to you, baby. The wise counsel tells me what's going on. And then I say, okay, that's confirmation. Try to tell you. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, thank you all for watching. I just wanted to share some, some a, a couple of thoughts with you all. What's going on behind the scenes. Uh, again, I woke up disappointed about my website situation. And then I did the research yesterday on this bishop. I believe he's out of North Carolina. If I'm not mistaken. I know he was. I don't know if he still is in North Kakalaki. Okay. But uh, the man of God is fine too. Listen. He, but allegedly he got some stuff with him. And it's not good. I've talked about him on the channel before. I have. Uh, but if I if I feel like it's necessary, then I will come back live. And then talk about it on the main channel. Okay. But until next time, I love you all. Do not forget to hit that like that share and that subscribe button okay to this new channel you get all my updates honey when i post a video okay i might even still go I'll, I'll definitely go live when i'm on my live um on youtube but when i post a video here about these pastors you might you want to tune in so hit like share subscribe and hit the bell so you don't forget don't see so you get the notification child okay bye jesus
So while we worried about the trans person in the bathroom, we really should be worried about the uncle at the Thanksgiving dinner table. Here it is. We practice conditional consent. We confuse our young people by telling them there are certain spaces where you can give consent and there are certain spaces where you don't have the option. It's like flipping the switch on and off, on and off, on and off. We send kids to our family's house for dinner. And when everybody there wants to give them a hug, the kid doesn't have an option. They got to give everybody a hug. Switch off. Then we send them to the mall. Don't let nobody talk to you any old kind of way at the mall. You got the right to protect yourself. Switch on. Then we go to the family reunion. You got to give everybody a hug. You got to give everybody a kiss. Switch off. Then we put them on the school bus. Ain't nobody got their right to put their hands on you. Don't let nobody put their hands on you. Switch on. Then we take them to church. We introduce them to the pastor. Don't you embarrass me in front of the pastor. You better give him a hug. Switch off. Let me tell you the problem with this. While we got the switches off, we turn the switch off with people who are familiar to us. We turn the switch off with people who are known to us. But in 93% of the child abuse cases, the perpetrator was known by the victim. So we put kids in a situation where the switch is off when they're in the most dangerous. Listen, I hope that you all enjoyed today's video. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing with your family and your friends. And um, tell the people about your girl. All right? I'm here. Go to my main channel also, Cocktail Hour with Catrice. And uh, subscribe there. Join the Patreon. Join the family. Be part of the Wise Council. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.